Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign. In the last episode, we had to go back to war with Kiev again to try to force them into our sphere. And we were able to win that war. It actually went a little bit smoother than our first war with Kiev. So, went pretty well. We're able to defeat them, force them back into our sphere, then they immediately fell back out again, so that didn't quite work out as I had hoped. But, you know, it is what it is. And then we're just kind of proceeding through, getting technology research and everything, working on, you know, maintaining our sphere as we proceed through the last few years remaining in this particular game. It's now 1929. And at the end of the episode, I was kind of speculating if I shouldn't just go ahead and convert over the Hearts of Iron now because we're kind of at a point where there's not much else that I really want to do in this particular game. And we're just going to kind of be burning through tech and just killing time until we get to 1936 when we're going to move over to Hearts of Iron 4. So I thought, you know what, we'll just do a little bit of a, of a time skip, hop to Hearts of Iron 4, and then just pick it up from there and but I wasn't sure that's what I wanted to do so I thought about it a little bit after the episode I went ahead and got the converter did a test conversion of the save file um, did a test conversion of the save file into hearts of iron 4 fired up hearts of iron 4 tested it played it a little bit made sure that it was gonna run smoothly and it Seems to be working fine. So, what I've gone ahead and decided to do is that we're just going to go ahead and hop on over to Hearts of Iron 4 now and continue on in the next game. So, let's just go ahead and do that. So, just a second here. All right, so here we are. Welcome to the Horse Lord Mecha campaign in Hearts of Iron 4. So let's go ahead and just take a look around and see where we're at, uh, kind of what the situation is. We're going to obviously just have to do a lot of work at the start to just kind of get ourselves, you know, converted over to where we want to be for this particular game because, you know, mechanics are all different and everything. So let's just see where we're at. So here's our armies. For whatever reason, the armies on the French border aren't there. That's okay. And we got all the armies around here. Armies over here. Armies over there. Which, for some reason, the Faroe Islands are under the control of England. I'm not that worried about that. <coughs> Excuse me. So, first thing I want to do is go ahead and get these guys back over here. And then, all right, so we got our armies over here in, the, in North America, and we have the armies down here in Africa. Okay. Or divisions, anyway, not armies. We have to assemble them into armies. So, let's go ahead and start running through everything here. First thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and get our research going. Let's see where we're actually at. Alright, so we've got sport weapons. We have motorized. Okay, good. Mountain infantry, paratroopers. Oh, we don't have paratroopers yet. Uh, let's see. We have a couple of support companies. Alright. We have some tanks. Makes sense. Actually, up the light tank twos. Okay. Go grab some heavy tanks. I wouldn't mind that, actually. We have some anti-aircraft guns. We have some improved artillery. We could use some anti-tank guns. No doctrines. So I'll have to pick... I have to pick a doctrine. Uh, let's see. Naval tech. Because we got all of our advanced... Warships, we actually have some pretty decent naval tech to start with. 
So that's pretty good. We have all the 1936 models of everything but aircraft carriers. We're going to need to unlock aircraft carriers. Okay, no naval doctrines. We have some fighters. We have some bombers. Excellent. Excellent. No air doctrines. We have our electronic mechanical engineering, so we'll probably want to do the mechanical computing. We have actually some synthetic oil. That's interesting. That's actually going to be helpful to start, because I don't think we have a lot of our own oil yet. So, getting some synthetic oil plants up and running will probably be useful at the beginning. So, alright, what's first? Construction, basic machine tools. We'll go there, construction one. We'll go there, and probably start a uh, land doctrine. Uh, mobile warfare. Mass assault. Motorized infantry. Is there anything? Here that would improve cavalry. I'm not sure there really is. Or something where... You know, our cavalry will benefit from it. Soft attack. Because we are going to be using a lot of cavalry. Grand battle plan. Grand battle plan. Assault. Mechanized offensive. All infantry and motorized mech. Mechanized wave, tanks. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get anything that's really going to benefit the, the cavalry. Um... The Mass Assault Doctrine... Large Front Offensive, Human Wave Operations... Hmm. Grand Battle Plan might not be a bad idea. Because it's going to rely on the planning and improve the planning capabilities. Or uh, superior firepower, because again, that's going to be about artillery. All frontline battalion soft attack plus twenty percent. Um, reinforce rates, entrenchment speed, mm, tanks and armor. I'm going to go with superior firepower doctrine. There we go. Oh, don't want to pause it just yet. All right. Uh, let's see. We got free military factories. We're going to hold off on that for the moment. Uh, free dockyards, gonna hold off on that for a moment. Uh, 
the national focus. Army effort's probably going to be useful at the start. Naval effort. Probably, I would say don't really need too much industrial effort, but that is where our extra research slots are. Um, hmm, political effort, political power. Because there are no factions yet. We're going to need to get down here to one of these guys to be able to create a faction. Uh, let's see. So collectivist ethos is where we go fascist, communist, absolutism. I guess that is not aligned. Radicalism. Radical. Interesting. And then this is if we want to do um, like democracy stuff. Which, looking at it, we are currently a democratic nation. That's what it converted us over as because we were a constitutional monarchy, so we did have elections, so I guess that makes some sense. The Conservative Party being the majority. So we could try and push this back to non-aligned at some point. I think for now what I'm going to go ahead and do is hit industrial effort. We're going to roll through here and try and get our um, technology, our research slots. Because those are going to be important. I have to think about and maybe get some feedback on what we're going to do as far as political stuff. Alright, so... What we need to do now is take a look at what are our templates. Um, we've got a whole bunch. Armored Division, Mechanized Division, Motorized Division, Assault Division, Assault Brigade. Alright, so Armored Division is tanks and motorized infantry. Okay, do we actually have any of those? I don't know. We should. We should have tanks. We do. We have some tanks. Okay. I want to actually give these different symbols. Mechanized are some tanks with mechanized infantry. We'll probably be changing that. Mechanized should be... See, this is mechanized, not motorized. Right? Because we have a, have a motorized mechanized. Mechanized use mechanized infantry, not motorized infantry. That's why this is going to have to get changed at some point but let me just change that template to I think this for mechanized infantry motorized divisions are good what is this assault lots of infantry artillery and some tanks 29 combat with um, we might make that like a 40 combat with infantry so let me give that a different symbol uh, like that assault brigade okay so that's basically a mini version of that um, probably we'll just convert anything that's an assault brigade into a division so let's just give this something that I will know is not anything I want to do with, deal with um, I'll just give it I mean I guess I could convert it into a mountain but I'm not going to worry about mountain um that assault brigade okay infantry division is a pretty standard infantry division we'll have to modify that down to 20 combat width Infantry Brigade, again, a small infantry division, not worried about that. Let's go ahead and just give it something like this so I can determine. That's different. A light infantry division? We have none of those, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Light infantry brigade, delete that. Cavalry division, okay, cavalry brigade. Just a bunch of cavalry, we're going to have to modify that. 
edit that. All right, so there we go. So we actually don't have any armored? That's odd. All right, well, let's go ahead and gather up all of our divisions here. Um, Kind of all of our divisions here. Oh, wait, one of my fleets is sitting there in the middle of the Black Sea. All right, get back to port. Oh, we have more divisions down here. Okay, get them up there. Okay, easy. Okay, now our North American divisions. Let's go ahead and grab those. This is gonna be a lot of organizing. Okay. All right, so we're gonna need infantry equipment. What are we actually building? All right, infantry equipment, lots of it. Artillery, lots of it. We're getting some fighters. Uh, we're gonna need some support equipment. Yes. Bunch of that. We're gonna need motorized because we have the possibility for that. Yes. Let's go ahead and get that stockpiling. Uh, what else we got? Toad anti-air. Sure, why not? Just get some of that. Um, we need some tanks. All right, let's get that in building. Uh, we have fighters going. Let's go ahead and get some bombers. Okay, some transport planes as well. Done. Dump stuff into the convoys. Okay, we have a lot more military factories. Let's pour them into... that. What else are we behind on? I don't know. We're probably going to need a lot of artillery. We're probably going to need just a lot more guns. Just guns. Get us lots of guns. Okay. Available planes in reserve. I'm not worried about planes right now. Alright, we're insufficient resources. We're going to need some rubber. Let's go ahead and get that from Pasai. Alright, let's go ahead and pause. Let's get it moving. One of the other things I'm just going to want to do is... My navies. Let's get the Black Sea Fleet and the Baltic Fleet on naval exercises. Oh, we're actually going to need some admirals here. Admiral. Admiral. And Admiral. Okay. China has declared war on China. Okay. So it looks like China has a civil war straight out of the gate. Bad news for them. UA declared war on UA. Alright. 
Democratic Party, PD has been put in power in Portugal. Portugal? I didn't even realize Portugal was a thing. Blackfoot declared war on Blackfoot. Alright, so Blackfoot has a civil war. Okay. Okay, so here we're here we are. All right, let's go ahead and sort out what we've got and start putting them in the armies. Okay, so these are the assault divisions. Okay, we we'll go ahead and give them an army. We're gonna keep those assault divisions. Let's make them. I don't know, orange maybe. Okay. Assault Brigades. Let's go ahead and convert those to Assault Divisions. Add them to that army and get them moving over there. Okay. We have Cavalry Divisions. Okay. Cavalry Divisions. Uh, let's make you green. Green, okay. And these are cavalry brigades. Let's convert those to cavalry divisions. Add them there. Move over there, okay. These are infantry divisions. Okay, good. These are infantry brigades. No, we want infantry divisions. There we are. Get over there. And actually, let's make you guys an army. Infantry. Let's make them purple. Sure, why not? All right. Okay, so we have, what, 25 assault divisions hmm. let's actually take one of those let's convert it let's convert that into an infantry division actually, let's take one of the ones we just converted you convert you into an infantry division there we go move you to that army get you over there okay so then I get you down to 24 all right so you're ready for an art for a commander there you go this guy's ready for a commander. All right, there you go. Now, these need to be split into two. So let's go ahead and uh, split you into two. There we go. So now you're ready for a commander and so are you. Okay. And then all of these guys are gonna be in an army group. Okay, good. Do I have anybody to assign to the army group? No. And I can't promote because I need more CP. All right. Ah, here's actual more... More guys on the way. Okay, so you are an infantry division. Get into that army. All right. You are an infantry brigade. You need to be converted to an infantry division. There you go. Get into that army. You are a cavalry division. There you go. You are a cavalry brigade. Convert to a division. Good. There you go. Okay, so those guys are converted over and ready to go. All right, so now, North America, where are we at? <clears throat> Excuse me. Infantry divisions. All right. Infantry 
Infantry divisions. I'll make you a bit of a lighter purple. Good. These are infantry brigades. Make them divisions. Good. Okay, we have cavalry divisions. We have cavalry brigades. Again, convert those. Good. Throw them in there. Okay. Assault divisions. I think these assault divisions actually have tanks in them. Yeah, they actually have a tanks in them. Light tanks. Okay, assault divisions. And this is an assault brigade. Yep, go ahead and switch that over to an assault division. And there. And then... Yeah. You, you, and you are all in an army group. I'm going to go ahead and give you... Oh, I don't like that that's a general that doesn't have a portrait. There we go. Commanders. Now, it's still saying we have unassigned divisions. Oh. I can't get them out of there. Alright, let's just go ahead and disband them then. I'm not going to worry about them. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, these guys. I didn't add them in. Okay, so you're an infantry division. So you go into there. Yes. You're an infantry brigade. So you go to there. You are a cavalry division. You go there. You are a cavalry brigade. No, 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 no. Division. Yes. And there. Good. Still unassigned. Ah, oh, these guys. Okay, okay. Um, do I want to start another army group here for... For Africa. There's not a ton down here. So you know what, I think I might go ahead and just put these in other armies. Infantry division. Let's fill you out. Okay. No, that, no that's cavalry. No, 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 no. There. Okay, good. Um, brigades again. Divisions. There. Cavalry. You're going to be there. Brigade. Division. Cav. There. Okay. Infantry. There. Cavalry. There. Cavalry. And division. And there. Okay. Okay, that's everybody. So now I can go ahead and go in here and... I'm not going to get rid of the armored division, mechanized division, or motorized division, because I want those. We'll get rid of the brigades, though. Get rid of that, get rid of that, and get rid of that, because the brigades are silly. There we go. Alright. There we are. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is assign these guys to a border. Now, we have no factions, right? No factions. Uh, let's see, diplomacy. Um... Hold on, 
let me just see. Do do I have any like uh I do. I have a subject state in Wallachia. Okay. So that's a subject nation. All right. Um let's see. Assault divisions. Let's go ahead. Put them along that border. Cavalry. What I'm going to do with my cavalry is I'm going to put you guys there. This calf is going to go along that boundary. Okay. Blackfoot, Annex Blackfoot. Infantry. I'm going to go ahead and spread along there as well. Kind of stretches them a bit far, but that's all right. All right, so for the other army group, this is infantry. Go ahead and get on this border. Cavalry. Go ahead and get on that border. Assault. Over there, I guess. Decisions are available. Uh, Anti-communist raids, ban communist party, ban absolutism, ban radical. I'm not going to worry about all of that. Okay, at least everybody's on a border now. So, as far as training troops... I need three infantry divisions. Three infantry divisions. Okay, we're going to need at least one cavalry division. You guys go there. You guys go there. Okay. And then we're going to need 22 assault divisions. Let's do that in two sets of 11. And you guys go there. Alright. So now we're training. Um, we need civilian factories. 38 dockyards isn't going to go very far. Uh, let's build some dockyards then. Um, how is our... Ooh, air bases are not good. Okay. Uh, let's get some air bases built. Okay, well, on the border there, I'll probably want some air bases out here as well. Okay, we don't have radar yet. I could use some synthetic refineries. Let's go ahead and uh, get a few of them built. Dockyards out here, and then we'll do military factories. We've got a lot of civilian factories. 
um, military factories out there. We'll see how that goes. Okay, we have 47 naval experience. Uh, probably need to take actually a closer look at those navies. Alright, what do you got? You got a bunch of dreadnoughts. Okay. And a bunch of cruisers. These are light cruisers. Same thing. Dreadnoughts and light cruisers. Alright. Dreadnoughts and light cruisers, which means we have absolutely no destroyers in the entire navy. That needs to be fixed. We also have no uh, submarines. That could also stand to be fixed as well. Alright, let's see what we've got as far as destroyers. We have a 1936 destroyer design. Um, let's go ahead and create a variant on that. Um, let's see. Batteries, anti-aircraft guns, torpedoes, engines, hydrophones. I don't have any radar, so you're going to go with fire control. We have some depth charges. Yeah, depth charge is fine. Now, do I want to give them another gun or a torpedo launcher? I like the idea of torpedo launchers. Uh, we're going to give this a class name. Uh, let's call this the Don class. Save. Okay. We don't have any actual names. Mm. Let's get a couple of those going. Uh, let's back off the convoys for a minute. Alright, so we'll get those built. Uh, what about submarines? Submarines. Okay. I don't think we're getting anything better than that. No, we're not getting anything better than that. Um, so this is just going to be a rename. This is going to be a rename of the class. Um, I don't know. Can't think of anything. Mine's blank. I'm with the Caspian class. Okay, sure. There you go. Rename it. Uh, there we go. Throw that in there. Alright. And, oh, we are actually way over time here. So... Let's go ahead and stop here for now. We're almost finished our industrial effort. And then we'll have to see how things go from here. 
All right, so for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.